All right, let's look at chroma key or green screen here in DaVinci Resolve. We actually have a couple different ways we can do this. We're gonna start off in the color page and then look at how to do the same thing in the uh, fusion page. So stop that playback. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, delete everything on the timeline. We're gonna start fresh, all right? Let's go ahead and grab a couple of clips here. We'll grab, let's say this clip here for our beach. And we want our girl with her phone over top of that. So I'll just drop it right on top there. Go ahead and trim it up. We're gonna go over to the color page first. So we can't see through our clip right now, not a problem. The first thing we're gonna do, head over here to your qualifier, all right? And make sure you have your picker selected. I can click to select my color. You can see what changed down here. I also, control Z out of that. I can also click and drag to grab a selection of colors, okay? Even though this is all green and it's lit very well, it's not, it's not all exactly one shade of green. Now over here, you can see that mask on our node. We can't really see anything yet. Let's go ahead and turn on our highlight overlay and just check that out. You can see we have some problems over here. I could grab my plus picker there and add in uh, some of these green colors. Just scrolling up on my mouse wheel, press down on my mouse wheel and move this around. And select in this area here maybe and grab some more of those green colors. I can adjust down here manually. Clean that up a little bit more. Then I'll come up here and look at our black white mask overlay and clean up the whites a bit. I'm not gonna go too crazy on this right now. Okay. We'll start with this here. That looks pretty good. Turn off that overlay. And we need to see through this so we know what we uh need to do, right? So let's go ahead and come over here to our node and right click and say add alpha output. Right here is our alpha output. Let's go ahead and grab right here from our blue node, all right, our mask there or our alpha and connect those two. And now we can see we have our mask. Of course, it's, it's backwards. So come down here and just invert it. Okay. So now we can see that we have uh, more work to do. I can always do things like, you know, shift F if I want to, or alt F uh, as well. But right now, this view is fine for me. And to clean this up, we have, you know, a few options. Grab my plus picker there. I can try to grab this green right there. That looks a little bit better. I can, again, manually adjust things in here to try to get rid of that green uh, fringe around her there. It looks pretty good right now. Let me go ahead and check this out again. Looks good there, but maybe we'll try our in-out ratio down here. Just kind of adjust that a bit, one way or the other, depending on your selection. Pull it in a bit, okay. Blur the radius. Come over to our second page and on shrink here, maybe pull this up to shrink it down, okay. So that looks pretty good. A bit of a problem here with her hair. I don't really think you're gonna see much of that. I would actually do this, this here specific clip in Fusion because Fusion is gonna do this much quicker and uh, much better. But uh, you can always try to clean things up in here as well. That's actually not too bad. I don't really think you're gonna see that. Okay. So head back to our edit page and there we go. You see we've keyed her out real nice. Of course, you can always head back to your color page and, uh, you know, mess with things in here to clean it up, you know, even more. We can even incorporate things like our power windows, right, to uh, add around certain areas and reverse that and do whatever you want. All right. But let's go ahead and get rid of that. Let's go ahead and come back here. Now, once I have that done, I can, of course, switch out my backgrounds um, if I wanted to. So switch those out real quick. All right. As you can see there. Now let's look at doing this in Fusion. So there's a few ways we can actually do this in Fusion. Let's kind of do it the long way, all right? We're gonna start with our background. I'll just grab something here, throw it down here, and let's go ahead and head into Fusion. All right, so we have our background, but now we need the actual uh, clip that we want to uh, key out. So make sure you're showing your media pool, and I'll just grab my clip, throw it right in here. Now I can go ahead and rename this. I can right click or just press F2 and rename this. So I can call this uh, green just so I know what it is. And then I can rename this one here um, 
to back plate or to background. We'll say back ground. Okay. I can click the first dot under our green screen here to view that in our first viewer over here. If I have it on the second viewer, I'll see it over there with that uh, second dot. All right. Make sure I'm down here under my media out node and show that uh, the output here in our second viewer. So now we need to connect these two together. So we need to grab a merge node. And I'll just grab my merge node right here. I'll drop it in and then I'll connect it here, but I'll just drag this in here and make sure I'm dragging my background, by the way, into the background node, as you can see. And this, our green screen, will be our foreground. So here's a foreground node right here. And we just drag that and connect it. Then we'll pull our output from our merge into our output. So there we go. Now we can actually see our green screen over top of our background. So I'll select our green screen node and come up to our effects library, open tools, come down to our mat, and we're going to use Delta keyer. This is one of the best keyers around. Okay. So I'll click and drag it in this time. Okay. And then connect my green screen to the input here. Go ahead and disconnect it from that merge. And then take the output of Delta Keyer again into the foreground of our merge. All right, I'll select my Delta Keyer. And this is what it looks like. We have a bunch of different tabs in here. But what we want is this first tab, background color. Click and hold on my dropper and then hover over our green and select the best green color and release. And there we go. We pretty much have a perfect key that quickly with Delta Keyer. Now we have a lot more options uh, we can uh, go through in here. So we could change the soft range. Let me hold on control and zoom in here. We could erode, we can blur Come over to the next tab, change the threshold here. If we need to, you can see I'm pulling in on sort of this uh, fringe here. You can pull in there if you need to erode or dilate that there. And I can click this little dot to set it to the center. Okay. I'm going to erode it a bit. Press down on my middle mouse button there and move this around. Hold on control, command on Mac, scroll in and out to zoom in and out. All right. A lot of stuff you can do in here. Check this page here, our spill, more options in here for shadows and midtones, tons of stuff that you can do in here that you should definitely uh, check out. We can also change this to the pre mat and see that. We can see the mat right here. Okay. We can see the status and the final result. Okay. So there we go. There's our key relatively quickly here in uh, Fusion. So head back to the edit page and we can see it right there. Make sure up here in playback and render cache. Put that on smart so that will go ahead and render for us. And I can kind of play back here a little bit. It's not rendered yet, but uh, you can see. Pretty good key. Of course, we do have a bit of an issue here, don't we? In that, in this case, she's really zoomed in, and that's because our clips have sort of a mismatch. Okay, so let's go ahead and take care of that back here in Fusion. So after my Delta keyer, I'm gonna grab a transform right here and just drop it right there. And then, because let me just show you right here, this clip here, our green screen clip, is 4K, while our background clip, I'll just show that in viewer one is uh, 1080. All right. So again, select my transform clip. And I'm going to drag her down to about 50%, which is 0.5. There we go. Back to the edit page. And there we go. Awesome. Now what if I wanted the same background uh, for what we just did in fusion that we uh, that we used here in the uh, color page, well, I can switch that out here in fusion. So here's our background, I'm just going to disconnect that and then grab the same background clip, throw it right in here and connect it to our background on our merge. Boom, there she is. Now, of course, we have another problem and that we used the transform, right? And if we look at this media one clip, again, our, our new one, show that in the viewer, you can see this clip here is 4K. And we know that our girl clip or our green screen clip is also 4K. So in this case, I can select my transform, just delete that and now, we should have that uh, pretty good. Let me go ahead and uh, fit that to the screen. All right, head back here and here's our color, uh, what we did in the color page right here. And here's what we did in Fusion. 
much quicker in fusion for this you know this uh, sort of thing again we can always head back to fusion and mess around with our delta key here a bit more if we need to uh, modify this here maybe change the color a bit different green or whatever right all right so that is how you could chroma key relatively quickly here uh, in in uh, DaVinci Resolve now we're going to do this a few more times in a few more ways. All right. This time, let's, uh, I'm going to grab my background clip right there. Then I'll grab my overlay clip right here. Put her right on top. Okay. And this time, let's select both of these clips. I'm just going to shift click those. Right click and say new fusion clip. Okay. Head over to fusion. And now I already have all of this uh, connected for me, as you can see. We have our background and our foreground. Again, look here at where your media is going in. So this, this node right here is our background. This here is our foreground. I can show my background in viewer one right there. Show my uh, overlay in viewer one if I wanted to. So in this case, pull this up here. All right. So now I'll select my media two node. I'll just select it. I'm going to hold down shift and press space bar. I'm going to type in delta. Right here it is. I'm gonna hit add. And right there, it's already added for me, connected it just the way that it needs to be connected. Select my delta keyer, do the same thing, click and hold, grab my color, bada bing, and guess what? We have our key done. Head back to edit, right there it is. So that's a bit of a faster way to do it. Grab my foreground, grab my background, and just combine those into a fusion clip and then head into Fusion, and then add, uh, add in your Delta keyer uh, right after, in this case, our Media 2 node. Now, what if I just wanna key something out and I don't know the background I want? We can do that too, all right? So I'll grab our same clip in this case, throw it right in here, head into Fusion, Tools, Matte, and we'll grab our Delta keyer and throw it right in here. Grab my dropper, click and hold, and then just uh, pull that out. Might wanna see my matte in this case, and go ahead and make whatever adjustments that I need to in here. But that should be pretty good. Okay, come back to edit. So you come back here to fusion here, make sure I have this on final result. And there we go. Then I'll just pull her up one level and then grab whatever uh, background I want and throw it right under her. And there we go. So we can do that as well. You don't have to know the background that you want. But you can do that, as we've already shown in Fusion as well, by grabbing our clip from our media pool and dropping it right in here and then connecting things here and making one sort of Fusion clip uh, right within uh, Fusion. So, of course, it does uh, pretty well on green here, as we can see. But we can also do you know, plenty of other colors as well. So let's try it with, uh, with white. Just going to drag this over here. And we'll just grab some, uh, some background for that there. And let's do this in the, I don't know, the color page, I guess. Head over here to color and grab my qualifier, my selection range, and just drag a selection in this case. I think that'll be pretty good, I think. We can check our mask here. Looks pretty good. All right, make sure we go ahead and right click, add our alpha output and connect that right there. Bada bang, we can see that already. Of course, it's backwards, although that does look kind of cool. It might be cool to have some sort of an intro like that with just an outline. But uh, we can go ahead and reverse that and then clean the blacks a bit, blur the radius here, change our in out maybe a little bit, and maybe shrink it. Okay. So that looks pretty cool. So now we have pulled that white out. Okay, let's do it again, though. Um, what do you say we grab something like this here? We'll just throw this in right here. And we'll do this in Fusion. Let's go over here to Fusion. All right. Let's go ahead and key it out first, I guess, and then we'll decide what we want uh, under it. So let's grab Delta Keyer, Shift, Space Bar. There's my Delta Keyer. Add that. Okay. That uh, I had my Media Out node selected whenever I selected Delta Keyer, so it actually put it in the wrong spot. No problem. I'm going to hold on shift and just disconnect that. 
Okay, then just put my input there and my output back there. Grab my delta keyer, grab my dropper right over my green area. Boom, and check my mat. Looks pretty darn good already. I can try to maybe change it up a bit here. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right, there it is. You can see that uh, that checkerboard background means that is transparent. So then I could add my clip uh, directly in here if I wanted to, or we know that we could just head back to the edit page. I'll just drag this up one layer and then grab my background clip and throw it right in there. And then we have it. So it's like they're viewing you know, vacation photos or something like that. I could also get rid of that. And let's get rid of this too. And we'll do it again. Now we'll grab our background clip first. Okay. And our overlay here. Just trim that up. And we could create a fusion clip here. Let's go ahead and do that actually. Just go ahead and new fusion clip. Okay. Over to fusion. And we'll go ahead and so our media one, this is our background. So we want media two, select it, shift space bar, type in delta key or add that right there, select it, grab my node here, my, my picker, and go ahead and pull that green color out. Make any adjustments that you need to. Just pulling out some of that green from her uh, chin there, right there. Okay, and there we go. But of course, again, the problem with this is that these clips are different, uh, uh, different uh, frame sizes. So their vacation clip looks way too big in their uh, in their tablet. So again, we already know what we can do, right? I'll grab my media one node because this is uh, the background that we want to transform. So I'll just select that and grab my transform, it puts it right in here, and then go ahead and size that down, as you can see move it over a bit. Okay. And by the way, it doesn't matter how I have my nodes structured in here, I could have them structured completely different, and it doesn't change anything. All right. So again, we want our media two, which is our overlay to make sure that's going into our foreground, and that our background is going into the uh, background node. And of course, all that goes out to uh, our media out. All right, so there it is again looks a little bit better now. Play that back. Again, it's not just green. It's not just blue. It's really any color, you know, any color that you want. I could even grab, say this color here, which is sort of a blue, head over to fusion again. We'll do this one last time here and grab our tool here from Matt and Delta Cure, drop it right in there, select my color picker again, pull out that blue color. Again, make any adjustments that you want up here. Head back to edit in this case, drag her up a level, put her over whatever I want. And let me just grab a different uh, clip here. There we go. And then we have it. All right, so that is how you can green screen or chroma key here in DaVinci Resolve using either the color page or Fusion.